Over there is the smallest school in Britain. It's got just two pupils and a teaching staff of one. It's perhaps Britain's most desolate as well. A tin and timber converted bunkhouse, or bothy, as they're called in Scotland. The children live almost next door to the school. Their father, Jock Kearney, is the stalker and gamekeeper on the Countess of Sutherland's 32,000 acre estate. Durrach, come on here. Good dog, Durrach. 150 square miles famed for its herds of wild deer. But the gamekeeper's house is 16 miles from the nearest village. You can only reach it by a bone-shaking ride through some of the most wild and unspoilt country in Scotland. But splendid isolation presented the education authority with the problem of getting the children to and from school. The only way was to bring the school to the children. How did you manage to persuade the education authorities to, to give you virtually your own school? How did that come about? We didn't persuade anybody. No. <laughs> They told me I would have to leave this job and get another one where I could get the school easier. And I just told them that wasn't the problem at all. So, of course, they had to get one. Which, we, uh, I presume, is cheaper paying a teacher to come to stay here than to send a vehicle to take the children the 16 miles to Kinbrae School. That wouldn't work anyway, because half the time in the winter time they would never get down the road to the school. Because that it would be blocked. blocked with snow. Do you think there are any disadvantages at all in having almost your own private school on your doorstep? Well, the Did only disadvantage I can see in it is for the boy. He doesn't have enough, probably enough, other little boys to go about and fight with, yes. you know. All right, back to your places then. Apart from its size and its location, Lock Corps runs just like any other school. I can hear someone talking here now. Grey school uniforms, a six-hour day, and absolutely no hope of playing truant. But there are some differences. When the weather's suitable, the classroom goes outside. Place I've been to is Dundee. The biggest place I've been to is Inverness. <laughs> and what did, did you like Inverness? Yes, it's all right. And Dundee? Yes, yeah, okay. I, I never really saw all of it. I was just in the hospital, but I saw a part of it. What were you, what were you doing in the hospital then? Uh, I don't know. It was something. Something wrong with you? Yeah, I, I, I don't know. But they say by the time I got there, it, I was all right. Yes. It took so long to go, get there. When we <laughs> saw a block of flats, we thought it was huge. Have you been to a picture house? No. A cinema? No. Well, so yes, but it's not a real house. cinema. It's hmm. at Golfsby, Dunrobin Castle. Oh, yeah. Sometimes, we sometimes go to a party there and you get a sort of film thing there. Yeah, there was one James Bond, it was a good one. Well, there's one thing that I want most children have and we did have but some something went wrong wrong with it a bicycle i'd like one of, i'd like a bicycle yeah me too i we can sort of sort of half and half ride we one. can't so never wow. mind half and half we can't mommy doesn't one. want to allow says she wants it she wouldn't allow us on the main road with a bike if you you've never been on a train have you no katrina hasn't i have you've been on a train yes Three times. Uh -huh. I've always wanted to go on a train, but <laughs> never I hope I do it. sometime. But yeah. <laughs> when Katrina and Ian are 12, they're likely to go to a state boarding school mm -hmm. 60 miles away. And then there'll be just one pupil, four-year-old Alexandra. She starts school soon and already joins in with the painting lessons. Yeah. Shall I put in this tile now, for yes. I'll have to have these legs. Oh, well, you can do these legs. Do you think you look forward to going to the uh, the big school? 
Yes. Yes, I, I'll we'll probably have a lot more friends there. <laughs> yeah. When we get other places, boy, we are really having fun. <laughs> what are you going to be, do you think, when you get a bit older, when you grow up? Oh. Ian wants to be a stalker here when Daddy dies. <laughs> yeah, I want to take over. I'd like to be a secretary or a receptionist or something like that, but <laughs> I don't know. You'd have Fine. to. You have to leave here then. Yeah. Do you want to live near around? Around here, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thought so. Yeah. You don't want to move away. Well, I'll probably have to move away from here, but I want here. to live near here. Somewhere. Yeah, near. And, I, and I want to live here. Right here. Even though Ian and Katrina will soon be leaving Loch Cor, their mother is confident that the school won't be closed. She's expecting another baby, so the school's future is guaranteed for a few years to come. Morning has broken like the first morning.